All righty, everybody, welcome to the show. I am your host, Marion the Barbarian. I don't know why I put it that way. I never open up like that, but all right, guys, we got a good one today. This was sent to me. Um, I don't know if it was gift, promotional. I just got, you know, a notice saying that, hey, your order was completed and it came in from the Razor Company. Oh, man, Shady's going to kill me. So this is the collaboration between Shannon, Sho Shannon Soaps and the Razor Company, and I think this is like a mid-tier base. They're calling the Chupacabra base. And it is Espera Zane de Luso. Yeah, I didn't double check, and Shady's just going to give me so much shit for that. So, all right, guys. We uh, lathered it up in the bowl. I think it's really... I mean, I think it's good to go. I mean, it's beautiful in my opinion. Looking good. Got some shine. I'm kind of washed out today, guys. I'm sorry about that. I don't know what's so different. But anyways, put it on. If I feel it needs more water, I'll just paint it in. But I mean, look at that. It's looking good. It's got the, you know... looking really good and see it's falling to the fingertips I get super hydrated so so as for the scent guys it's I don't know it's a cologne aquatic it's really what I get from it it's hard for me to pick out some of the other notes I don't really get the cedar like I get cedar and other things um, I don't know that I know what neroli really smells like, but a lot of things that have neroli in it, I enjoy. So, there we go. So, this is this is one of my favorite razors that I forgot I had. Otherwise, my top 10 list would have been a bitch. Don't ask me what I'm going to knock out to put this in, because uh, I'm going to wait till another razor comes in, and then we might make the list again. So, this is a Hinkles, free of dirt. Um... Scales were made by Max Sprecher. It's a purple translucent. And I believe it's a 13 sixteenths or an 11 sixteenths. I think it's 13 sixteenths. But for those of you that do not know, Freya Dirt is a stainless steel razor. And the edge was put on by Sergio. Erodium nuts. As a matter of fact, we're not even going to talk about it, but this was Chris Maiden's razor. And we did a trade. And he sent this to me. And the razor I'm still waiting on. It's supposed to be sent out to him. Still isn't finished. I've had this razor for quite a while. So. There we go. I do like the razor. It's shiny. I see how shiny it is. I mean, it's got some homeware, but I really don't care. It still looks good even with the homeware. If y'all see it, y'all see the homeware on there at the top. It's so shiny all the way around. Sorry, I'm being quiet, but I'm enjoying the shade. If I didn't show off the brush before, this was a gift from the captain. If you look in there, it looks like a fudge. That sucks. All right, so it looks like a uh, snow-covered 
mountaintop in there. It's pretty wicked awesome. I like it. I got the suds everywhere, folks. Suds are everywhere. So, I've been told just it's been said that uh, stainless steel is more rigid than uh, than carbon. I'm just gonna add a little bit more water to the lather. Um, so it doesn't have as much give and flexibility. It's a little bit more rigid. Um, I don't know that I can really tell the difference. I'm just not that kind of guy, not a connoisseur of that yet, so I don't really know. We're gonna add more damn water, people. There we go. I mean, it just seems so thick on the face. Yeah, make your jokes, thick on the face. All right. We are taking down 48 hours of growth, people. Um, last shave I did was, uh, I think I used mammoth soaps. And I used a Carl Monkhouse Blackie straight razor. Nice. Just flick it off the razor. You know, the good bloops. As y'all tell, I'm kind of trying the one-handed. Trying to stay light. There we go. One handed. Now that I've gotten used to using both. One is kind of counterintuitive now. There we go. Man, I really picked up some more there. It's, it's a beautiful feeling on that upward pass on the neck. I truly enjoy it. And you know, this really is a good base. I've never had Shannon's um Budget offering, that's the way to put it. This is not a bad soap, it's not cheap. Budget offering is the best way to put it. I've only had the Rust Belt Reserve, but that's because the scents I wanted were in that base. All right. All right. That was a good little shave there. 
couple of weepers. You know what? I feel like I want to get my neck again for some pickups. A little bit of water. Add it to the suds. Get to whipping. And do 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 pick up the lather with the blade behind on videos behind on comments I have been watching some people's videos but not getting comments in and you feel bad because it makes you think people aren't watching your videos and they watch mine and I do watch theirs. Yes, I'm officially behind on yours though, Johan. I'm glad you told me you tagged me. Still haven't watched the video. I might have been tagged in some other stuff recently that I'm not sure about. Outdoor tag by Maddie Lindholm. I gotta fit that in. So we'll see how it goes. So guys, we're gonna rinse up and we'll be right back. And we are back guys. The royal purple is in the laundry basket. Would have been awesome for the matchy matchy purple shade today. At least with the brush and the razor. It doesn't match the soap label. So guys, I'm not going to try to pronounce it again. We're, we're just not doing it. So you see the orange spots on there? That's my son and his Cheeto hands, man. Damn it. So yeah, Shave a Day Pick has Cheeto hand marks all over my splash. But look. They got good labels. It cleaned up rather easily, right? Esperazone de Luso. De Luso? Yeah, I got nothing. So, here we go. Does this have alcohol? I can't remember. Let's see. Alcohol free. See, that's my only beef. I like the alcohol. I want to feel the burn. I want to know. Did you shave close, brother? Like, that's what I want to know. And without that alcohol, how can I know if my free door shave close, brother? So anyways, guys, followed it up with the splash. Very nice. Enjoyable. Feels all skin foodie. Definitely feels skin foodie. There were oils floating around in it and stuff. So I do believe this is from Oz Shaving. Like I said, gifted to me by Lather Me Whiskers. Uh, he does homework find him on Instagram he makes custom scales hit him up he is the man for that and guys really beautiful Max Brecker scales nothing special just plain acrylics what I asked for and uh, free of twin works and if I didn't say so this is a 72 the difference between a 72 and a 472 I believe 472 might be a little longer on the tang. I could be wrong, but I know the number one difference is the etching on the spine. And I believe, like I said, it's 13 sixteenths or 11 sixteenths. Um, Frida Durs were done on sixteenths and not eighths. So you know it's not a six eighths or a seven eighths. It's going to be like 11 sixteenths or 13 sixteenths. So, all right, guys, it's been fun. Hope to catch y'all soon. Oh, yeah. You know, hashtag Canadian Mafia. Y'all don't know what that is. I feel sorry for you. So, guys, y'all have a good one. Catch you later.